it's something that when we look at all the things that we've done over the past year, it's probably the one that's been the most time consuming, but in the best way possible, because we wanted to set something up that was actually usable, but also represented the values and the initiatives that we want to do have. So like when we look, it probably, I mean, it's probably took us four, five months to really hammer it in on our tier one continuum. Um, because we had these teachers who were doing all these amazing things, but not really knowing if that was a tier one, if that was a tier two or, or what, because the idea was, well, you know, we want to offer that to every kid who needs it. And it's like, okay, yes, but, but not quite, you know, at the same time yeah. of, uh, you know, that whole kind of every kid, every day kind of thing is really what tier one is. And so we're actually finally in a place where I feel like we've got some real groundwork there. And so now we're starting to dip our toes into tier two and saying, okay, well, if these are what we do every day for every kid, what does this look like? And what are these things that we're going out of our way on a, a you know, situational basis to address the learning needs of this child, right? Because it, go, it goes back to that theory of they're not tier two students. They're students who access tier two supports. Just having that visual representation of, you know, this is what we support in our building. Um, and that doesn't mean that they're, they're fixed. It means that until we're in a place where we're confident with these, that we're working on it. And, you know, and that kind of idea that we're always open to what comes next, but we also want to be able to see that we're making tangible changes.